Helping Hand is a program instituted by the Dallas Police Department, and it is a positive deterrent against child molesting. A volunteer in a home displays this sign, and the child is taught by the youth of Yogi that this sign in the window means that if he's going home and someone attempts to harm him, he can go to this house and get aid, help. And tonight we're going to explain to you about the Helping Hand program. And it is about, uh, it's about, uh, well, well, anytime you're in trouble, this you look for one of these signs somewhere, and this is where you go to uh, to get help. Say, in case, in case of a, a real bad weather, like it's hailing and storming real bad, you might go here if there's a bad dog chasing you. You might go here, or in case there was some man about the streets that was bothering you, and uh, you'll find some of these usually in a in somebody's window at their house. And if you ever need help, I'm re-emphasizing this. If you ever need help, you stop the policeman. He'll help you the best he can. And if he can't help you, he'll find somebody that can. The children have worked for a period of about five months preparing for the program. They were trained by the Dallas Police Department on the use of a color book for the preschool children of the third grade. And this is applicable to what they tell them not to do, what to look out for. On the next page, he says, the policeman is my friend. He helped me when I need him. He, he helps everyone who needs him. Every everyone should help the police. What are the primary training aids that they use? One is a policeman, and this is correlated to the color book. The children color the police uniform. And in this way, they tell them the policeman is your friend. He's dressed in blue, so they color him blue. He wears a gun. You can recognize him. He wears a badge. Y'all all say hi to him. Now, this is, this is your friend. He's my friend, and he's your friend. And this is the way a policeman dresses. So if you're ever in need of help, you see a man dressed like this wearing a badge, you can come to him and he will help you the best he can. But if he can't help you, he'll find somebody that can. Incidentally, they have a little exam. They ask the children at the end, who is your friend in blue that wears a gun? And the child will respond, our policeman. And they give the child a wooden nickel. And on the back of the wooden nickel, it says, Operation Get Involved. When you're in trouble and out on the street, uh, where do you go? What sign do you see in a house? The house. Who's the friendly man in blue that you go to when you're in trouble? All right, there you go. The pamphlet is called A Message to Children put out by the Dallas Police Department. It is to be read by the parents to their children. And it tells them what not to do, what to look out for, and it tells the parents additional responsibilities that they should obligate themselves to, to help prevent their child from being harmed by a child molester. You gonna take this home to your mother? That's good. Are you? Yeah. You are too, I hope. Good. Why are you using youngsters as instructors? Why? Because we cannot fail to recognize the most effective chain of communication, youth to youth. By that, the Dallas Police Department, aware of this, inserts this information to the youngsters from another youngster, the most effective, efficient means of communication.